So my dear friends, my dear masters, my dear gods, today's our spiritual wisdom is about pyramid power and pyramid meditation. What is pyramid power? What is pyramid meditation? Let's understand this. Friends, pyramid means that we will always be reminding ourselves about the pyramids in the Egypt, basically Egypt pyramids, isn't it? So this Egypt pyramid is located in the village called Giza and the town called Cairo. Cairo is the city capital of the capital city of uh, Egypt, basically. It's located there. The pyramids are this uh, one of the seven wonders of the world, my dear friends. Also, these pyramids are widely known in order to store the mummies, that means the dead bodies, basically dead bodies of the king and queen, king and queen in the Egypt country. So you all will be knowing this especially, right? Friends, so this way, this way, there are some facts and figures about this pyramid, okay? Basically, pyramid is a, a sacred geometry, try to understand. Pyramid is a sacred geometry, so which will, which will have the a special unique characteristics of receiving whose amount of cosmic energy from the cosmos, try to understand. These pyramids, especially one of the biggest pyramid in the Egypt, which is constructed basically in the, in the area of 30 acres and the base of the pyramid the width and the, the width and height of the pyramid if you see the width of the pyramid is basically base of the pyramid is 768 feet and the height of the pyramid is 450 feet my dear friends which is constructed in 13 acres okay that's the biggest pyramid one of the biggest pyramid in the egypt okay now so if you try to understand what is the importance of this pyramid the first of all the word pyra plus mid pyramid is pyramid the, the word pyramid is divided into two parts the two words are there. The two words are pyra and mid. Pyra plus mid is called pyramid. So pyra means what? They say pyra refers to fire. That is agni. Mid means in the mid. So mid means in the middle, in the center. So it means a structure, <clears throat> a structure which has got highest amount of fire. Fire means the highest amount of energy. We can in our words, you know, in the spiritual, the spiritual terms, we call it a cosmic energy, basically. So the highest amount of cosmic energy present in the middle of the a particular structure, that is called pyramid, my dear friends. Okay. So in this way, if you try to understand any pyramid you take at the center of the pyramid, at the center of the pyramid or middle of the pyramid, there will be huge amount of cosmic energy preserved, collected. So collected and it will be stored over there. So that particular center of the pyramid in, in general from the base of the pyramid and uh, is about one third height of the pyramid. So that particular place it is going to store, it is going to have preservation of huge amount of cosmic energy, whatever it receives from the cosmos. Okay. So that particular place is called inside the pyramid, that place is called the king chamber. What is it? King chamber. So on the king chamber, if you go and sit, you know, in the just inside the pyramid, if you go and sit inside the pyramid at the at the level of king chamber, you receive huge amount of cosmic energy without any effort, my dear friends. You don't need to do any special effort. Just sit over there. So you receive a lot of cosmic energy. However, you receive cosmic energy in the sleep. I mentioned yesterday, when you receive a good amount of cosmic energy during the sound sleep, especially, then you will be refreshed. You'll be energized very fast, right? So that's the that's purpose of the sleep. That's a nature gift for us. Similarly, when you go into the meditation, as I mentioned today also, three laws of meditation I referred to you. So please uh, again uh, revise that uh, three laws of meditation. So try to revise and understand also. So the what three laws of meditation says, when you go into deep meditation, you receive huge amount of cosmic energy to, through the Sahasrara Chakra or Brahmarandra, my dear friends. So that's how the cosmic energy is present everywhere. What is cosmic energy in simple terms, in layman terms? The cosmic energy is the, you know, the, uh, the uh, summation of summation of all the planets, star system, galaxies. So all the, the entire, what are the celestial bodies? So all this entire, if you see the entire universe, right? Entire cosmos spreads. So that is the source of creation. Cosmic energy is the source of creation. Who has given the birth to it? So it has been it has been generated, it is it has been originated by the creator. Creator means we can say supreme intelligence, paramatma, God, divine, whatever we, whatever the name we call it as, right? So our creator has 
has created this so called cosmic energy with the cosmic energy only all this entire whatever you see physical objects non physical like you know subtle things some of the subtle things some of the visible things visible and non visible so basically we have something uh, some of the things we can vis visualize some of the things we can see with the naked eyes right but many of the things we can't see with the naked eyes so those also exist so that means visible non visible and um, all these things everything will be formed or everything is created everything is man manifested so with the help of this so called the cosmic energy friends that means cosmic energy is present in every smallest particle in this universe okay it is present in you in me and in any object living or non living everywhere it is present friends so that's why the cosmic energy is universal energy it's also called universal energy it is present in the entire universe friends so this cosmic energy especially it uh, it, it enters into our human body in the two occasions especially in the two occasions one is so when you go into the deep sleep you receive the cosmic energy number two is when you go into the deep meditation you also receive the huge amount of cosmic energy through the brahmarandra brahmarandra is here Sahasar chakra is here. See here on the top of the head. Through this, what happens when you go into deep meditation? You receive huge amount of universal energy or cosmic energy. That is the second occasion. And also, friends, other than this, you also receive abundant amount of cosmic energy or three times more energy. Three times more energy than the you know normal meditation. If you do meditation underneath the pyramid or inside the pyramid, so that means what? meditation meditation you do underneath the pyramid is called pyramid meditation pyramid meditation is three times more powerful than the ordinary meditation or meditation you do anywhere else my friends likewise <clears throat> your nature meditation three times powerful your full moon meditation three times powerful right the meditation you do nearby the water resources the water element it will be three times powerful so like this friends you, you do meditation in the dense forest so it's going to give you three times more energy. That's also powerful meditation. Likewise, friends, always we should utilize wherever pyramids you you find out, wherever you, you come across the pyramid, go on, go on do meditation. Go and spend your time, one hour, two hour, three hour, right? So meditation inside the pyramid that is going to energize you like, you know, in a tremendous way, abundant cosmic energy, you receive it. Then what will happen? Entire all your physical diseases, what are the physical diseases you are suffering? Everything will be vanished, my dear friends. So, why? Because you are receiving huge amount of cosmic energy, it is going to re originate or so regenerate all the dead cells in your body. What are the dead cells? Why do we get the disease? The cells are dead. The what is what are which are the cells? Body cells, friends. So, the body cells, because of our non holistic lifestyle and non-holistic food. So because of all this uh, adulterated food, adulterated lifestyle, what happens in our physical body, basically this, you know, basic five elements of the nature, the five elements of your physical body, right? So that all, that will be imbalanced, basically. Secondly, Vata, Pitta, Kapha will be created because of the imbalance in the five nature element. So not only that, because of this uh, adulteration, many of the chemicals, unnecessary chemicals you are giving to your physical body, that's how you get into the diseases, isn't it? So not only that, so because of your, so non, uh, you know, so-called the, the unplanned thinking, or you can say negative thinking, more of negative thinking, right? So more of negative thinking, which goes in your mind, all through your mind, throughout the day, whatever you do, that, uh, that tends to, that tends to become as a stress in your, in your mind, friends. So that stress will be that stress will be inducing lot of chemicals, negative chemicals. You can say stress hormones in your physical body. That is going to hamper your health, my dear friends. That is why stress has to be removed. That is why every day when you are doing meditation, you will be removing all the stress. Whatever the accumulated stress will be keep on cleansing day by day, day by day, right? Every so far, two hourly ones, three hourly ones, you can go on cleanse easily with the help of meditation. Then what happened? The any kind of stress hormones will not be generated and your health will not be hampered at the same time so all throughout all throughout the day you will maintain the so so much balance in your thinking and the, so much the great positivity within you and positivity think positive thinking and the great productivity at yourself right so many benefits friends so many benefits with the because of meditation 
everything is a benefit every minute every whatever the time you spend right with yourself so that will be so everything will be priceless if you do into if you go into the meditation path or if you go into the spiritual path if you don't go into the spiritual path what happen every second every minute is a misery for us is a misery it is a panic situation will be always under the stress and anxiety and fear and depression lot of things go on right so without knowing ourselves we'll be enter, enter, we'll be entering into that kind of tendency basically that kind of tendency in the behavior it go, go on happens that's why we suffer day in day out and we get into the lot of unnecessary diseases friends that all these physical ailments are because of your own the lack of mental energy psychosomatic diseases and the lack of holistic lifestyle lack of holistic food so friends with this what happens is what i'm trying to say is if you receive this cosmic energy in the pyramid inside the pyramid three times more powerful cosmic energy you get it to your physical body that is going to cleans the entire system whatever your past life karmas whatever the present life because of the present life present life deeds and actions and thinking whatever you do negative negative deeds negative thinking negative speech whatever you do right because of that the many of the the blockages will be happen in the energy body those also will be cleansed those also will be cleansed with the help of meditation with the help of meditation especially in the underneath the pyramid you receive three times more powerful energy then you can clean all these things very faster then you, once you clean your entire all the nadis 272 to nadis as soon as possible of course depends upon your past life practice also friends you know in your past life if you have if you are if you have happened to practice more and more meditation in this life in this life what happens is you can grow faster your soul evolution your soul journey will be so faster friends that is spiritual journey will be so faster otherwise also if you keep practicing now onwards at least okay so then what will happen your growth will be faster and then you receive a huge amount of cosmic energy that will solve all the problems friends so that is why source of this especially friends for us the source of happiness what is the goal of human life friends the goal of human human life is stay healthy and happy that is having bliss blissful life having this blissful life all the time so with the help of having the great health within us right that means staying happy and healthy that is the mantra of life that is a human goal of life right that, that's what we know but at the same time what is the source of this happiness for you the great amount of energy should be within you which energy cosmic energy also we can say the other in other words we, we also call this a prana shakti pranic energy friends so this pranic energy or cosmic energy within us it should be an abundantly available when it is abundantly available what happen you have no diseases you have no diseases you have always you know you have a lot of mental the peace within you you have a lot of bliss within you you are always happy happy in your mind that is happy in everything whatever you do it will be in a great it will give a great results friends in your life because of you are doing every work you are trying you are thinking and doing and speaking out of your lot of peace within you right a lot of happiness within you so that's how the entire life will be transformed because of meditation friends so this, this is the way all the every life every living being on this earth planet my dear friends living or non living beings right everything is surviving basing on the cosmic energy this is also very very important point so in the principles of pssm friends we have five principles as i mentioned yesterday also one is meditation these are, these are the basic foundational principles one is meditation practice of meditation second thing is vegetarianism become a vegetarian third one is swadhyaya seventh or fourth one is sajana sangatya the final and fifth one is pyramid power use the pyramid power you do the pyramid meditation my dear friends this is a fifth foundational principle of pssm pyramid spiritual societies movement and also mahavatar foundation my dear friends now you just observe your <clears throat> i think hope you might have seen the pyramid right so by this time or somewhere you might have definitely seen the pyramid but i will show you a small pyramid for you right just for the sake of the simple pyramid a 4 inch pyramid see here 4 inch pyramid this we we generally keep on the water bottle right for the water bottle recharge to energize the water in order to drink the energy water we keep this pyramid this is called 4 inch by 4 inch pyramid made up of ga steel okay likewise the biggest pyramids are there Okay, just an example I am showing. See here, this is this called base. It's called base. This is a slope. This slope is a base, and uh, the center, whatever center from the apex to the base, that is called height of the pyramid. 
height of the pyramid, base of the pyramid, slope of the pyramid. Okay. This is how it has to be made. But one thing is very important, friend. This pyramid, you cannot make a, like a pyramid-like structure. You can't make and you can say that it's a pyramid. Please use it. Don't do that. So you can't do that also. There's no use of it. So what is more important then? So try to observe only one point when you are purchasing pyramid or when you are using pyramid or when you want to. So, you know, in your lifetime, so you want to do more and more experiments with the pyramid and go on use the pyramids. So only one important thing is C. This is a base. So the base, the slope is there, no? the slope or inclination, right? So that should be having one angle. That's called the golden angle of the pyramid. That is how much it should be? 51 degrees, 52 minutes, 10 seconds. Please note on this point, okay? That is the angle you must maintain with this one, right? How do you calculate then? You see, I select this as a, let's say, I select this as a 10 feet, okay? Now, my calculation for the slope, what should be the slope? That means the edge is called slow, the edge, right? This edge, how much length it should be here? This would be 0.956 into base, okay? That means 9.5 feet, isn't it? The slope. Then what must be my height? Height should be equal to 0.636 into base. That means 6.36 feet height. So that's, a, that's how you have to calculate the pyramid and construct yourself. You can do that. Okay. So these are pyramid friends. These are importance of pyramids, which I tried to explain you. And you see here, just observe our nose is a pyramid here. See, see the nose. So the nose, these are, these are apex, apex of the pyramid. Then it has come like this. It is ended like this. That means within us, within us, nose itself is pyramid. You try to observe our body, physical body like this. So in the top, it is narrow, then going down, bulging, then the underneath, like uh, up to Moladhar, if you see, there's also like a uh, spreading. So, like the body itself you now looks like a pyramid, pyramid structure. And go to the temples, Garbhagudis. See here, the, the Gopra, the Garbhagudi will be like, you know, if you, it's, as it go on upside, so then it will be try to narrow down. Okay. The Garbhagudi is also like a pyramid, isn't it? So likewise, Himalayas, have you, have you observed the Himalayas? Himal most of the Himalayas will be like this. Pradham Kailas, you have seen the Pradham Kailas? So that's where, you know, the Iswara, Iswara resides. So that Pranakalas also in the form of pyramid, basically. Any, any Himalaya mountains you see, observe it. That will be in the form of pyramid. So this is how you need to understand, friends. And dimensions of materials. What are the materials to be used for the pyramids? So try to always understand. Material is irrespective, friends. So whatever the material you wanted, you can use. There is no particular. You can use, for example, you can use the, uh, you know, so-called copper. Uh, then aluminum, then the cardboard, then the paper, then the <coughs> cement, cement, you know, you can use RCC. So roof, uh, concrete, uh, you know, so whatever the concrete based say, pyramids also there. So likewise, you can, ir the pyramid power is irrespective of material. Please note this point. But what is more critical is the angle. The pyramid angle is highest, you know, that is a critical component which you need to maintain, which, which you must achieve, friends. That, that's what you need to remember. Friends, these pyramids especially, the pyramids are catalysts for the cosmic energy. That means wherever cosmic energy you want to receive more, see for example, in the chemical reactions, we use one catalyst, isn't it? I want to do one chemical reaction. What I do? I use catalyst in order to speed up the chemical reaction, isn't it? Similarly, if you use this pyramid for the cosmic energy, you see huge amount of cosmic energy. For example, a rectangular structure or a circular structure, structure. any structure you go, inside you don't receive this much cosmic energy because this particular structure the pyramid yeah, that's my friends in egypt how do you find these pyramids the in fact there is one um, great spiritual scientist okay edgar 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 uh, edgar case so edgar case uh, what did what did he say he said that these pyramids are constructed about 10000 years back who has constructed normal uh, the normal human beings never constructed these pyramids friends the other from the other uh, so-called the you can say from the other planets otherwise from other star systems some aliens came here they are called pleiadians pleiadians they constructed this pyramid otherwise it's impossible friends have you if you notice the giza pyramid so the, the each stone size is about half a half a ton to the two ton the two ton size of the pyramid the egypt uh, the each uh, stone which they use in the construction of the pyramid such a height 450 feet height lifting this uh, you know so called two ton uh, two ton stone how it how it was possible those days not even having this much technology but one thing is very important friends 
please not make a note of point. Okay, important point. Those days they used to use thought power. Just by using thought power, they lift they lift any kind of a weight to any 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 amount of height, my dear friends. So that's how the thought power has having that kind of power. Even nowadays also teleportation. What is teleportation? It means moving one object from one place to other place just by using your thought power, right? So that is the power of our thought. Okay. So that's how they were doing, friends. So this, uh, so this, uh, this way, if you see, pyramid is having highest amount of benefits. Physical benefits are there. Spiritual benefits are there. Which, if you go on use it, friends, so definitely you will be getting highest amount of benefits. So in the pyramid, you also remember it is a source of negative ions. You know that negative ions. What is the power? What is the effect of negative ions? Friends, what will happen is negative ions, the presence of negative ions inside the pyramid atmosphere, if you go and sit there, you receive more and more number of electrons. The more number of free electrons you receive to your physical body. Every atom of your physical body will receive highest amount of free electrons. That is how you will be re-energized, you will be refreshed, you will be rejuvenated, my dear friends. That's how you achieve the, the positive and great health. So now the physical benefit, what are the physical benefits? Basically, for healing, you can use the pyramid. Many of the hospitals nowadays they construct pyramid. Okay, they construct the pyramid in the hospital. So any patient who taken into the hospital, if it is a pyramid structure is there, so he will be healed very faster, right? And education, students can just, you know, wear the pyramid on the top of the head and they can start practicing meditation, right? The for the, the education purpose also you can use, isn't it? All their classrooms can be constructed in the form of pyramid. So naturally, cosmic energy is abundantly available within the class naturally abundant amount of cosmic energy available without your any interference and intervention so much amount of cosmic energy available within the so called you know hospital everywhere then what will happen it will cure it will cure the patient very faster that's all and even students they get highest amount of concentration memory power all the benefit they receive if they are inside the, the pyramid class and you know they are going through education or have a small pyramid keep on the head the top of the head while reading while writing you know doing homework so children can practice that Definitely, they also receive huge amount of cosmic energy. Friends, what happens is, so now, preservation. That's another benefit of, physical benefit of, uh, basically, benefits are physical and spiritual, both, in the, with the help of pyramid. So now, we are discussing about physical benefits. Now, so if you, you, have, you have to observe the you know, preservation purpose. If I put anything, if I put, for example, vegetables, fruits, or any other, you know, grains, anything if I keep inside the pyramid. Maybe I make, for example, two feet by two feet pyramid. I try to use it as a preservator. Or a storage, right? You know, in my house. Then what happens if I keep any item inside that? That will be as it is. It will be intact. It will not be decayed. It will not be decomposed. It will not be destroyed, friends. That's the purpose of pyramid. Pyramid will preserve everything. That's called preservation. And energy is the water, friends. So if you have water bottle or water can within your house, just put one 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 feet by one feet or nine inch by nine inch pyramid, nine point five inch by nine point five inch pyramid. One pyramid. It can be plastic pyramid, iron pyramid, not iron pyramid, copper pyramid, aluminum, whatever it. Just keep on the top of the can that pyramid. So it's going to energize. I showed you just now on the water bottle in your on your table, you know, in your office, in your house, wherever. On the water bottle, keep this pyramid just for one hour. It will recharge. It will energize the water, friends. If you drink that water, you can cure all the diseases easily, friends. Like that. The farming. In the farming also, natural farming. In the farming also, we provide the pyramids, friends. The Matar Foundation is going to provide all these pyramids, whatever I'm talking about. I'll post the, you know, the group on a small leaflet, so which contains about 15 type of pyramids, okay? You can use for many purposes. If your eyesight is, no, eyesight is not good, you know, the eyesight is having a short defect or long defect, then you can have one eye pyramid, then if you just keep it and wear it and then do meditation for half an hour, it will try to cure the day by day, day by day, the healing will happen. So likewise, friends, so many working people, while you know you are working in front of computer for long hours, keep the pyramid on the top of the head and then keep working, right? So it will provide you the great amount of healing. So healing as well, it will energize you. Then you can work, you know, more effective way and not to be affected by multiple radiations which are happening by various gadgets, right? The friends, spiritual benefits. What are spiritual benefits? So as I told you, sit inside the pyramid and do meditation. That is three times powerful. That's called deep meditation. You'll get it. You'll get into the deep meditation. All the thoughts will be evacuated. You will, your mind becomes empty so faster. Three times faster. You will come out of the turbulent mind under the underneath the pyramid if you do meditation. Friends, other thing is astral body experiences. 
you get outer body experiences very faster because with this pyramid but also friends finally your third eye activation will be so faster because of the pyramid this is very very important which you can remember third eye activation will happen very faster so likewise friends we also have a lot of pyramids we constructed basically because of our uh, guruji so what happened is the pyramid spiritual society movement have constructed many mega pyramids big pyramids with the help of relentless effort of our uh, beloved guruji so almost like lakhs of pyramids came in india as well abroad also in different countries also in fact the first time on the on the pyramid osho has done a great work right he has constructed a pyramid in osho osho rajneesh the, the the ashram which is located in pune there is a pyramid which is been which has been constructed in the way back you know 1990s itself friends before our guruji ventured into this so he has already constructed that means he was using also the pyramid for spiritual purposes that is for meditation my dear friends so such is the case and we have mega pyramids in pyramid in bangalore outskirts on kanakpura road we have biggest pyramid that is 160 feet by 160 feet we also have mega pyramid in hyderabad kartal that is about 180 feet by 180 feet like this friends if you want to find just find a one day Spend spending the Pyramid Valley International in Bangalore, then you can do very good meditation. In fact, in Madhar Foundation, our uh, institution, Madhar Foundation organization, we have about eight pyramids, about three feet by three feet pyramid. You can sit underneath the pyramid and go on practice meditation. So it will be very powerful chambers we have constructed. So in Madhar Foundation also, my dear friends, right? So like this, so there are many, you know, the many type of, many benefits of pyramid meditation, especially when you do meditation underneath the pyramid, you will get higher number of benefits, friends. That's why you need to understand. So in this manner, if you see, so there are great amount of benefits and uh, there are many, many number of pyramids available. Even in the, in the crystals, especially if you use the crystals in the, inside the pyramid threads, you will get a lot of benefits. What will happen when you use the crystal inside the pyramid? If you fix one crystal on the apex of the pyramid, you receive whatever the receive you whatever the energy you are receiving, right? Cosmic energy that will be again amplified. That will be get amplified. That is the purpose of a crystal using under uh, along with the pyramid. That's what you understand. So now, if you do meditation, especially underneath pyramid, what are the great benefits, friends? Definitely, there are a great number of benefits. So we'll be, so we, uh, friends, we are now already 9.15, right? 9.16. We'll finish this, we'll, we'll finish this uh, class faster as soon as possible. We have lack of time. So now, let me finish, let me, uh, you know, give you the idea about pyramid, benefit, pyramid meditation benefits, okay? So after that, so we'll have a question of answers and then we'll close the session. Now, what are the benefits of this pyramid meditation? If you do meditation underneath the pyramid, your astral travel, that is outer body experiences, you'll get very faster, friends. That's very important, right? Because you go into deep meditation, then you will release, the astral body will get released out of you, then you get all these outer body experiences. And Kundali energy gets activated very faster. That is also one of the greatest benefit of this pyramid. And also Susumna Nadi. So you, some of you will be knowing, Susumna Nadi will be activated very faster. That is also very important. And also communication with the higher beings. So uh, what are the higher beings in the other worlds, right? The spiritual worlds, spirit worlds especially, you can communicate easily if you do practice of meditation underneath the, may, may, underneath of the pyramid. You start practicing, definitely you can achieve this faster. And telepathy gets activated. Your thought power will be tremendously improved and there so that you will be able to communicate with any person, whichever the person, you know, you wanted their response, right? You just release a thought, it will tremendously work and then bring the response from any person. That's called telepathy, communication to uh, communication through the thought, right? Through the thought power. The intelligence will be sharpened. That means, so whatever your intelligence, like, you know, the great amount of intelligence within everybody will be tremendously improved, increased because of meditation under the, the pyramid. And finally, friends, finally, self-realization will be very, very easier and faster. That is, soul evolution will be tremendously faster and you are going to uh, enter into the so-called self-realization or moksha or mukti, you will achieve very faster, my dear friends. These are the pyramid meditation benefits. Okay. So please use the pyramids in your day to day to day life. So wherever possible, in office, home, wherever possible, try to use these pyramids just of keeping on table, even any negative vibrations in the house, it will be wiped out if you start using the pyramids. Okay. These are the wonderful the benefits of 
pyramid power pyramid meditation today we discussed right so please follow in your day to life friends thank you so much.